Today also we'll discuss some important questions and hope this uh, this lecture will be also helpful for all of you. Question: They consider a set A equal to set of real number minus of three and another set B is nothing or set of real number minus of one and they construct a function from A to B. Define this way: f of x equal to yes, f of x equal to this one. This is important. f of x equal to here x minus 2 by x minus of 3. This is important. This is our function. And function from a to b. Yes, this is the function. Now we need to show, show that f is bijective. And also find f inverse of x. So first of all, unit function is bijective. Bijective means the function will be on or as well as on to so first of all what we do here guys for one on what we do here just you consider any two elements here in the domain and such that their images are equal f of x on and f of x to these two the images and suppose these two images are equal and we need to verify whether they are equal or not yes so for this case what you do simply just you put here uh, x1 and x2 belongs to the domain set A such that is such that f of uh, x1 equal to uh, f of x2 yes so now we put the value of f of x1 and f of x2 so what is f of x1 because this is the structure of f of x so this will be x1 uh, minus of 2 by uh, x1 minus of 3 and here x2 will be uh, x2 minus of 2 by uh, x2 minus of 2 yes. yes x1 minus of 3 will be there so if we take multiple of this one this will be x1 x2 minus of 3 of x1 plus of 6 here also if you take multiple what you will get here x1 x2 minus of uh, 3 of x2 minus of twice of x1 plus of 6 uh, so this 6 and this 6 will be cancelled here x1 and here x1 x2 will be cancelled yes and you see here uh, minus of uh, how many minus of x2 uh, minus of 2 x2 here here minus of x2 is written hai, 3 hai. so it's going to be like minus of 2 x2 plus of 3 of x will be there and it's going to be like this will be minus of x1 plus 3 of x1 ho so from here this will be x of 2 and here will be x of 1 so this x2 and x1 is are equal here yes so what we see here if their images are equal then the elements are also equal here that means the functions is nothing so that means f is one yes the function is one similarly we have to show this function is one two so for this case what we do here guys you see this is b this is a and this is f is our so for one two what we do here guys such you choose here y equal to here any elements so let y belongs to this capital b such that is f of x equal to y we could be element area or suppose we consider f may x tell me say y will that then why does this x belongs to this set or not yes that means we need to show this x is in this set or not but you remember here what is a here guys this is r minus of 3 yes r minus 3 what is b here this is r minus of 1 that means you remember here the this set will be all the real numbers except 1 and this set contain all the real numbers except 3 so this is our set yes so first of all you remember this thing so f of x what is f of x this is x minus 3 by x minus of 2 this is y so from this one you find the value of x so this will be x minus 3 equal to uh, x minus 2 of y yes uh, so x minus of 3 this will be y x minus of twice of y so this will side me like as well so this will be x y equal to 3 minus of twice y so from here if we take x common so this will be x y minus 1 minus y so this will be y this one yes so from here what will be x what will be x x will be 3 minus of twice y by 1 minus of y yes and this is belongs to a. this is belongs to a for all y belongs to capital b yes because you see here for y is nothing our real number and except one yes 
for any real number except one so if we put here y or any real number y this one also will be a real number and this will be belongs to a yes that means yahami koi bhi ek elements le lene se uska corresponding yahami ek x mil jata hai that means e mil jata hai such that f of this one equal to kya ho jata hai y ho jata hai that means this function is kya hai so f is kya hai one so since the function is one on as well as one two so this will be a bijective function so therefore f is kya hai bijective f is bijective and you can say and hence uh, it is inverted yes you can say you need to find this function uh, this way yes also you need f inverse so what will be f inverse guys here so f inverse of y equal to x from here we can write yes from here we can write like this so f inverse y equal to x so what is x here x is our this one yes x is our this one three minus of twice y by one minus of y yes that means uh what is the structure of f inverse y we get here f, f inverse kandar me so that means you see what is the structure of f inverse here so you see here what is the f in structure of so guys you see what is the structure of f inverse here if we put here y we get here three minus twice of y by one minus y that means you can write like this way so f inverse of x so if you put here x here so here will be three minus of twice x by one minus of x so this will be the value of f inverse of x yes so this is the thing like they consider f and g p2 function from set of real number to real number and define this way f of x is equal to mod of x plus one and g is nothing g of x is equal to mod of x minus of x for all x belongs to real number then we need to find f composite g and g composite of f yes so you first of all you write f of x and g of x so f of x is nothing mod of x plus of x yes so what will be the structure of f of x here you see this uh, f of x will mod of x will be x yes if x is greater equal to zero and this mod of x will be minus x here if uh, x is less than zero yes so we can write like this way also this function f is write like this way yes if x is greater equal to zero then this mod x will be x and plus x so this will be here and if x is less than zero then this mod of x will be minus of x yes so from here what we get here. This will be x plus x means twice of x, and if x is greater or equal to zero, and here will be zero uh, if x is less than that. So this is our f of x. This is the structure of f of x. Yes. Similarly, you can write the value of g x. So what will be the structure of g x? This is this one. This is our function. So what will be this with mod of x will be x yes if x is greater or equal to zero and this mod x will be minus of x yes if x is less than zero yes so what will be the final structure of this one this x minus x that means zero if x is greater than equal to zero and this will be minus of twice x if x is less than zero so this is a structure of g x yes so first of all we remember this two one. By using this one, we can easily find f of f composite g and g composite of x. Yes. So, what will be the f composite g of x according to our composition of function? This will be f of g x. Yes. So now you see what is g x. What is the value of g x? You see, if x is greater or equal to zero, then g x is zero. So that means this f of zero will be there because the value of g x is zero. If we consider x is greater than equal to zero, and this f g x will be here minus of twice x. Yes. This will be minus of twice x if x is less than zero. Yes. So this is our value. Now you see. If x is greater or equal to zero, then what will be f of zero? According to our definition of f, you see here, if x is greater than zero, then the value of f of x is nothing. Twice of x. That means here we'll get here two into zero. Yes, two into zero. If x is greater or equal to zero, and but you see in this case. Here x is less than zero. X is less than zero means the value of x is negative. And since here the value of x is negative, that means 
this minus of 2i x this will be positive positive number 2x then what we get here according to our definition of x dekho x of positive ho jata hai na to uska value kya hota hai twice time of dayton hota hai that means isme dekho twice minus of twice x is a positive number because we consider x is negative here so if x is negative then minus of twice x will be positive number and if we put here any positive number on this x then we get twice of dayton so this will be twice of minus of 2 of x if x is less than 0 so finally what we get here uh, this will be 0 uh, if x is greater or equal to 0 and this will be minus of 4x uh, if x is less than 0 yes so this is our f composite g of x yes so f this is x according to the, our definition of function what will be this one so guys what will be g composite of f yes g composite f of x so this is nothing g of f of x here yes so now you say what is the value of f of x when uh, here we consider two cases x is greater or equal to 0 and x is less than 0 so if you put here x is greater than 0 then what is f of x here this will be twice of x so this value will be g of twice x if we consider x is greater or equal to 0 and if we put so here x is less than 0 then in this case f of x is 0 that means this value will be g of 0 yes so now you put uh, what will be the g of x yes now you find what will be the g of x you see x is greater than equal to 0 here that means this twice x also will be greater or equal to 0 and if you put that means this twice x also will be positive number so g of this positive number will follow this structure yes g may koi bhi positive number del do x greater or equal to 0 dalo to uska value kya ho jata hai 0 so this will be 0 if x is greater or equal to 0 and here you see z of 0 so what is z of 0 guys this is also will follow this for equal 0 and so y 0 so this is also will be 0 yes if x is less than 0 so finally what will be this one so this will be 0 in for all x yes x greater or equal to 0 or less or equal to 0 this z is composite f of x always will be 0 yes so this is the value of this my dear ss final year student we are going to start a quick revision classes for 30 days yes in these classes we will discuss the uh, previous 15 years questions paper yes and also we will discuss the most important questions yes for upcoming final exam yes classes will be start from 25th of this month and the registration is going on so if you are interested then you are asked to complete your registration by using this link or you may complete your registration by through this whatsapp number also yes thank you